Guys, he actually did it. Hi, welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about the official announcement of Clan Battles. So Crunchyroll announced on their Twitter and on their in-game page that they are actually opening Clan Battles on da 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 the 10th of February. This is okay news depending on how prepared you are, but there are a couple of changes and I want to talk about them. And I think the most immediate one that you can see is right, right here. But before that, let's jump into what they're saying. So this is a Clan Battle beta and you can see Melsatum is right here. Like I said, old mate sheep. <laughs> It turns out we did get Ares first, which is pretty funky. This guy is going to last five days. It's exactly as we expected. It's the sheep. It's coming on the 10th. Uh, what does it say over here? For the most part, it's the same mechanics, like five bosses. And then after you finish the boss circuit, you do it over and over again. However, we do have the time carry over mechanic, which is pretty cool. All it's saying is pretty much like if you kill a monster and you have the time remaining, you can go and attack another one as well. Now let's get into what they actually changed, which is really interesting. The reward structure is actually different to what it was when JP. If you see here, they're actually ranking it from 1 to 10 through to 15k plus, right? So what's funny is actually this part here. I'll add a comparison on the JP rewards like over here. Usually the top 50 gets the same reward. So like 5,000 jewels, 5,000 clan coins, and like 30 memory shards. So what they've done is they've actually like separated the brackets a little bit. It's actually 1 to 10, 11 to 25, and 26 to 50, which is very interesting, right? Because all of these are more than what it was previously. On one hand, it gives more incentive for clans to fight against each other a bit more. Like this makes it like way more competitive. So I guess if you're like a competitive person or I don't know, a whale, this is kind of good news for you. You're going to be getting more than what we originally were kind of like alluding to. On the other hand, it does mean like the rich and strong do get richer, which is kind of okay, right? Like it, it is how it is. And I mean, like you can interpret that how you want. Like obviously in my mind, like the top 50, it was always going to be the whales. Like it was never going to really like do anything for us. The only thing that this changes for me is the fact that the 26 to 50 actually gets 1000 more jewels than previous before. I personally think that most of us won't be able to compete with whales, especially in the first few months. So I think this is okay, especially since they didn't lower anything. There was always going to be whale clans and there was always going to be like, you know, the dolphins and stuff. And they were always going to take like ranks one to 25 to 50 or whatever. It doesn't change too much for us, but like eventually when there is that cap when we can catch up, potentially there is more earning potential. I don't know, maybe. But aside from that, everything else is the same. I think this is okay. Like, it's fine. It's like giving another 30 pulls to whales, right? Like, 30 pulls, whales probably, like, you know, they're not even, like, sweating about it. With that being said, let's move on to the next change, which is probably the most important one, and that's about the hackers. So you can see the bolded statement here. If any players are caught cheating in clan battles, these players will be banned and their scores wiped. That's pretty freaking big. It does mean that they do have to take extra time to actually check all of the results. But if this means that it can be, like, a fair match all in all, then I... I will take it. They've already banned 458 accounts. I think this is all actually like really awesome. A lot of people had a lot of doubts about Crunchyroll and I don't blame them. Their history, their track record is not that great. But from what I can tell right now, I think they are doing pretty good. And like I mentioned before, we see Tamias. He actually did it. So if you guys don't know who Tamias is, Tamias is another content creator for Precon. And every week he's actually been sending like weekly reminders to Crunchyroll like this because of all of the hackers in Arena. Like I said, yes, you can profit off hackers, but in the long run, hackers is not really good for the game game. But we come back over here and honestly, it just really looks like Crunchyroll kind of has it together. Yes, being released on the 10th does mean that we are following a 1.3 times accelerated factor. But in the long run, I think we'll be okay. It actually does indeed mean that we possibly get like prefairs and all the limited banners and all of that like a little bit faster. On one hand, it actually means that it might make more sense to hold on and wait for those prefairs as all those like big events. We just need to see how Crunchyroll handles this. But yeah, that's freaking awesome that Tamias actually... <laughs> He, he freaking did it. Again, guys, I said this is going to be a short one. I'm going to end it there. There's going to be a lot of mixed opinions about this. And I completely understand like from, you know, positive to the negatives. You guys tell me what you think, because I think it's largely positive. There's honestly not really much that you can fault them for here. I'm hoping that maybe these additional brackets in the rank actually brings a lot more competitiveness to the landscape. Because like, honestly, I was one of those people before, like, you know, if I could get one to 50, you know, I'm freaking chilling. Even if I'm 49 or 50, I'm chilling. And even now I'm like, well, I'm not hitting one to 10. So I'm going to hit 26 to 50. So I'm chilling. <laughs> But maybe we'll get to see some exciting things from this. I don't know. You guys tell me how you feel. All right, I got to wrap this up before I drag this out into like another 10 minute video. That's the end of the video. Secret message. Official CB release. You guys know what to do with the secret message. Please drop it down in the comments below. I will read it and I will thank you for it. The secret message just tells me that you actually made it to the end of the video and I appreciate you eternally for that. Again, guys, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, comment. It is what it is. But yeah. I'm excited and I hope you guys are too. That being said, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.